All right, we're going to pause and move away from our letter for just a few moments and do this next part where we're actually going to create the list of um, our five people that will be part of our data source. Now you can, and this often happens, is if you have a database, an access database or uh, data from an Excel spreadsheet, you can take that information and actually um, utilize it in, in, in this project, but they actually show you how to create your own um, set of uh, a data source right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, on my next step here to select recipients and I'm going to type a new list and I'm going to create this new list. Now what I um, will have you do in a minute, we'll save this new list in our folder. And this is important. You have to remember where you save this um, for later uh, later items. So this brings up the data source. Now I could immediately start typing some things in here but I, I want to clean it up and actually set it up first. So what I need to do to do that is I need to come over here and say customize columns and we need to set these up so that um, we have the correct columns. Uh, we, we need to remove a couple and we need to um, add a couple. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking in the book on figure 618 and title, first name, last name, company name, those are fine. Address one and two, city, state, and zip, those are fine. But when you get to the country or region, we do not need that for this um, for this project. So we're going to delete that. And it gives that warning. And then looking down through the others, we actually don't need home phone or work phone. So we'll just delete each of those. And email address. Now, if you accidentally delete something you shouldn't delete, no, no problem, because we're actually, I'm going to show you here in a minute how to, um, how to change or add, sorry, how to add uh, different fields. So, um, first thing before we, well, let's, let's go ahead and do this. So, click on Add, and we're going to add Position, and hit OK. And notice it put it up up where my cursor was. I'll add another one, which is job fair. And it also put those up there. Now, I can and probably should rearrange these. And it's pretty easy to rearrange. I'm actually going to rearrange them in an order such that I'm going back on figure 615 so that these are in the right order. So I should have title. Um, I want position to be toward the bottom, so I'm going to hit the move down button. Or move down, not move up. Same with job fair. I'll move that down. So I have title, first name, last name, uh, organization or company name, that's fine. Address 1, 2, city, state, zip, position, and job fair. So that sets that up. We're okay. Now the next part is um, where I'm going to type these items in. I'm going to actually um, do that and you don't want to watch me type so I'll pause this and then come back after those items are, are, are typed in. Okay I'm just about to finish up entering the this information for the uh, data source and I forgot to put in okay now this this data set only has five records uh, you um, you could have you know anywhere from one to you know, thousands of records um, in different data sources. This just shows you how to do it with five. Again, you could use an outside data source. Um, so I have my items entered in there. Hit OK. And it's going to ask me where to save these. Now, it's important you remember where to save these. I'm gonna actually going to save these in my 12,000 folder. And they probably actually give you a name to, to name this. What do they tell you to name it? Um, green Perspective Employers. if employers. It doesn't really matter what you name it, just so you remember where to name it. Notice it saves it as a Microsoft Office list, uh, address list. Okay. And then it's going to bring up this um, idea of the, uh, the mail merge recipients. On this, case, on this um, it'll actually show the data source name, and you hit OK. And what you technically did there is, is you are now connected to a data source. 
Let me take a step back just to show you before we finish out this part of the tutorial is if you have um, on the on the, the step three where it says uh, mail merge if you have an, an existing list already from another data source you can use that there and open it or, or uh, connect to the data source that way in this one we type the new list but technically we are now connected to the data source okay so uh, this will wrap up this portion of the tutorial